Hi kids and welcome back to another video on Blockbench! In this one, we're going to continue with the cow texture that we worked on last time. The cow texture was finished off with a basic coat of colors. We're going to add details to it because I do like to add my details. Okay, let's jump into it and continue on our cow. Welcome back into Blockbench. This is what we call a standard shape. It has no details going for it, more than different colors for different elements. What we want to do differently in this video is to add more details by shading this in and giving it a bit more character. I want my cow to stand out and have fur, and a really cool way to paint fur is by using what I call a triangulation. At the top here, I'm going to take the side of the cow. I select that brown color with my Alt key and I have my paintbrush selected. I move over to here, take a slightly darker color, and then I'm going to paint a triangle like that. That is the bottom of my hair triangle. Select the brown we had, move it to a slightly brighter shade, and then paint that again. That's a triangulation of shades. You can make this longer or shorter as you desire. Let's make a longer version to show you what that looks like. I'll paint two pixels here, two here, two here, and then do the same thing with the bright ones up here at the top. Or something like that. Like I said, there is no real rule or method to this. We just want to add more shades to make it more interesting to look at. The dark color represents shadow. The bright color represents light that hits the fur on our model. We can then paint a bright line underneath an already existing dark line to create a sense that this is another layer. And then I'll just continue with this process all the way around the body like this. And I am actually going to be lazy and just repeat this exact pattern. And with the dark shades like there, and then the bright ones at the bottom. And that's a super simple system. All we have to do is follow the pattern. And if we fail the pattern, that's okay. So let me finish this off and paint that on both sides. And I'll get back to you in a second. There we go. I have now painted the body. We have the fur also flowing from the center to the sides. If you want to copy my style, feel free to do it. Down here at the bottom, I made a big darker square underneath so I wanted to feel like the hair is actually hanging down. And this area could have shorter fur. Fur that we don't need to detail because it's in the shadow. In order to texture the top of our leg, we will have to hide the body layers. And we do that by clicking here on this eye. That will hide the body for us. Now we can actually see the top of our legs. Second challenge now emerges. I want to take the colors that I had for the fur on the side of the body and bring it down to here. What would I do? Well, one technique is of course to show the body again, pick up a color, paint it, pick up the other color, paint it, just so we have them saved on the leg and can go back and pick them up later and then hide the body again. Another method is to go up here to this UV area and just click on one of the colors here with our color picker tool. It works just the same. Pick the dark one and paint. And that's a great trick if you want to pick up colors you might have elsewhere on the model. Okay, so let's paint the fur again. At the top, I'm not going to start by dragging a line like that. I'm actually going to flush a line all the way around. Like so. Time to paint the triangulation again. So, I'm going to click here and here. Same here and here. Here and here. And also drag the line and here and there. I'm going to pick up the bright color and go in underneath. Same thing here. Long lines. Over, in, there. Long lines. There we are. And then the dark color. So long shadow, darkness. Short, long, short, long. And then long, short, long, short. Down here at the bottom. Let's continue with the bright once more. Keep our triangulation going. Now with a short line. Like that. All the way around. And then on the inside here as well. Oops, there we go. And then the darks, dots just around here, all the way around the base of the leg. So to identify the clothes, what I'm going to do is to pick up a brighter gray color and paint one pixel there and one pixel there. And if I want to, I could go and add some shading to here, picking up the dark color, a slightly brighter color than dark, paint this one there and this one there, there and there, and there, and there, just to get a bit of a round shape going for the bottom. If I wanted to, I could take a slightly darker gray, go in and paint under the center, just to make it look a bit more interesting. And don't you worry, this is just one of the many ways you can texture your cow. I happen to be doing it this way, you can do your cow whatever way you'd like it to be. And if you're not happy with your decision, well, it's fine, you can just make a new texture, try it out again. That's the beauty of art. Okay, let's texture the face. I'm going to follow the same rule as I had with the bottom of the body, shade underneath here. As for the fur to hang down, be chilly, Follow that up on the side like here. Of course, keep my triangulation going around these edges. 
but not so much more than that. Here we go. Quick and fast, just breeze through this and paint the dark lines up, leave them be here by the end of the side of the skull. Also, as you may notice, I do paint with mirror painting. It makes this process a lot easier. If you paint without it, you may have to paint the second side of your model as well. And if you do find yourself painting halfway and figuring out, oh, I forgot to use mirror painting, you can just go back in and click and paint on the colors once more where they were, and they will appear now on the other side. So there's always a way to work around it. It might take some time, but that's pretty common when we work with 3D art. We get used to making errors and then fixing them. It is all part of the journey. I'm just going to quickly cover up the top of the head, figure out some shapes for the fur as it falls around like that. I'd actually want to bring this down like that, but we won't see this part of the head much anyways. So I don't feel like I have to spend all too much time figuring this out. Then down at the bottom, meet it up in the corner, paint these pixels down so the fur follows down all the way from the sides. I wonder how this animal would survive the heat in the summer. Now I want to enhance the face by making some eyebrows. Thick, heavy eyebrows around the eyes, like that. And then light underneath. One thing you could do if you want to try it out is to extend the eyes to the side of the head like this. Because this is a mammal, it kind of makes sense that it would do that. And I think that's the face my cow will have. Now I'm just going to add some shade to the horn. Over here, click that, take a slightly darker color. Paint the line here at the very bottom, around like that. Take the same color again, take a slightly brighter version. Paint the tip at the top. Just around like that, so we get a nice gradient flowing upwards. And there we have it! Our cow is done! <coughs> have I forgotten to paint the udder? <laughs> I don't want to paint the udder. They are weird. Really weird. Okay, pick up the base color. Slightly more reddish, slightly darker. Paint the corner like that. Paint a corner like this, just so we get some shade in there. Take this, bring that to a brighter color. Paint an open square like that. Maybe I'll just do four of them. And then we show the legs again. Let's forget we ever did that. Okay, thank you, Cursor. So here we have it. Now our cow is actually complete. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed learning about painting in Blockbench. In the next video, we are going to start making our very own model from the base up. Before we begin working on actual mobs with different bones and stuff, we're going to make an item for Java Minecraft to try out what that is like. And if you enjoy the process, well, maybe you can become a resource pack creator one day with your own custom items for everything in the game. I am teaching you this because I know you can have just as much fun as I've had since I started playing Minecraft many, many years ago. And when we are done with the item design, we will play around with Bedrock Edition's Entity Wizard. I have already gotten videos about that over at the Ars by Kev channel, but it is adapted for a slightly older audience. So if your parents want to try it out with you, they can do that. But otherwise, I recommend waiting until we release that video here so you can check it out in a more kid-friendly fashion. Have a good time till next time!